As seen on the CBS Sports Network, Army and Air Force doing battle in Denver. Air Force 8-0 coming in, a chance to defend the Commander-in-Chief's trophy for the first time since 2010 and 2011. Army hadn't beaten a ranked opponent since 1972. That opponent, Air Force. First Army drive, second and eight, their own 38. Bryson Daly faking the handoff, and he is gone. 62 yards to the house. And Army takes the early 7-0 lead. Their first points in the first quarter since week four at Syracuse. Also their last first quarter lead. Black Knights getting it done defensively. Manuel Michel getting the handoff on fourth and one. But he is stuffed at the line. Turnover on downs. Army would get a field goal out of their ensuing drive. And it's 10-0. Here come the Falcons again. Third and three at their own 45. Zach Larrier tries to throw but loses the ball. And Army jumps on it. First giveaway by a quarterback this season for Air Force. Here comes Army from the Air Force five-yard line. Bryson Daly, he's in again. Second rushing touchdown of the game, and Army goes up 17-0. And then things go from bad to worse for Air Force. Larrier overthrowing his receiver, picked off by Bo Nichols. Paul, Army gets a field goal to go into halftime of 23-3 on an Air Force team that was expected to roll over Army, but uh-uh, not happening on this day. First pick of the season for Air Force. They were the last team in FBS that didn't have an INT. Mid-fourth, Falcons third and eight. Larry are in trouble, loses it. Army recovers. Fourth turnover forced by Army. The third by Larrier after not having any in this season, and they can feel it now. Larrier picked off by Nicholas Paul. That's the dagger. Fifth turnover of the game. Army wins it. 23 to three, your final score. Their first win over a ranked opponent since 1972. They avoid their first six game losing streak since 2011 and 2012. Let's listen to the folks who called this game, John Sadak and Randy Cross from the CBS Sports Network. In Denver, a stunning scene. What an upset pulled by an Army squad that had lost five in a row, took out the 25th ranked Air Force Falcons. Domination on both sides highlighted by a sea of takeaways. It really was. Bryson Daly, the quarterback, came back into this offense and was an immediate spark. Ran for a great number of yards. Does a good, good job by him running the ball. Leo Lowen in the defense functionally turned them over eight times. Six turnovers and twice on fourth down. It was a stirring display as we take a look at some of the highlights defensively. What a draw up of a defensive game plan. So you normally you say, let's go start some defense. Where do we start? Well, let's start with the six turnovers. And this is the team, Larry, or the quarterback for Air Force, hadn't turned the ball over himself one time this year. And today he had three alone. Now this Air Force offense had given it away five times on the year, a half dozen in this affair. Army scored on the opening possession of the game, never looked back. Those turnovers critical. There were a lot of penalties for the Black Knights, but now it puts all the more weight on Army Navy. It really does. And, and that, this, Navy, this Army defense, the way they handled the Air Force running game, gives them a lot of hope going into that Navy game in, in December as to what they can do with them. 300 yards coming in got 155 that's stuffing an opponent for the college football hall of famer randy cross i'm john sadak the final in denver 23 to 3 army first win over a ranked opponent since 1972 that was air force back then it's air force now snaps a 52 game losing streak of the black knights against ranked opponents only vanderbilt from 92 to 06 and then tulane just snapped that streak in 2022, lost more games in a row before finally getting a win over a ranked opponent.